Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my dad, and today we're going to... What are we gonna do today? I don't know, you forced me to come here. Today we're gonna put on our business hats. I already have mine. And we're going to rate YouTube showered. products. Yes, We're gonna YouTube. be okay. Right? The reason why I want to do this video is because I saw this YouTuber named Cody Ko, who he used to be it's a soft- Cody, and Co the Co <laughs> That's Cody, that's his girlfriend, Kelsey. What's Ko? Ko is his last name. So his girlfriend? No! <laughs> so, the reason why I want to do this video is because Cody actually used to be a software engineer, and then he did YouTube. Now, you... <laughs> you also do software and business. You want to talk a little bit about what you do? Uh, yeah, I started as a software engineer. Now I call myself Futurist, also known as Uncle Roger. He's very humble, but he does AI, he understands business, he works with a lot of e-commerce stores. So we're not only going to be talking about like the YouTuber concepts, but also just like, like roasting their e-commerce storefront. Sounds good? Sounds good to me. Time to roast! We're gonna be rating all of this as well. So we're gonna have like a really nice tier list. Okay. All right, so the first product we're gonna rate is the David Dobrik perfume. Let's take a look at his e-commerce. Must be Shopify, right? Probably. Okay, this is his website. He came out with this product. First glance, what do we think? I think they have a really good digital marketer. Well, obviously it's David Dobrik. No, no. The... Oh, wait, actually, no, wait, this is not bad. Not only that, I just look at the, the way they run the link. They use something called Google G Clip, which is a way for you to do better tracking than anybody else. Okay. If you see a new website has this thing, their analytics is top notch. Can you click on home? Okay, so this is running on Shopify. How do you know that? Because if you look at the URL, you know, in URL, there's only five URLs right. that you have to remember. It's always the same. Okay. Home, which is, has nothing in there after the URL. The second one is collections, products, checkout, and pages. It's already on Shopify. We love you, Shopify. Yeah. Well, I'm a Shopify partner, so call me. <laughs> I have a link underneath. Um, so if you have it before Shopify and after Shopify, you typically have about 30% increase in sales alone if you don't change anything. So I'm going to give David Dobrik's perfume S level tier. What do we think? It's Gen Z friendly. No one's really done it before. The website looks good. I think it's great. I don't know. You give it an A? What do you put it? <laughs> I don't know yet. Put it an A for now, okay? We'll move on and we'll come back to it. The next one, Chamberlain Coffee. Okay, so Emma Chamberlain okay. launches a new coffee company. But look at the website. I think this is great user. Design is awesome. Right, right? But anybody can design. Huh? Well, let's take a quick intermission to decide how we're rating these brands. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Intermission time with Jade and Leon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna judge in two areas. We're gonna judge it on the product itself, which I will rate it, and then Leon will judge the efficiency of conversion, which is how profitable, how much money yes. they make. Okay. Let's do Chamberlain Coffee now. I think the concept genius. Look at look at the fucking look at her bags. I, I I'm I'm agreeing with you. The, the packaging beautiful. Okay. What pricing? Oh, let's take a look. Okay. So she has these bundles. Oh, no, they have subscribe Ooh. and save. Oh. 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 Somebody oh. on recharge. Wait, what is it? Is that an app on Shopify? It's a subscription. So they have a subscription model built in. That's interesting. Shopify and recharge. Top notch. So what do you Pricing think? is actually pretty good too. Really? Yeah. I think mm -hmm. so too. I, I think this is great. Wow. And a good, good incentive. Definitely S. S tier? Yes. I agree. I agree. S tier. All right. S is the shit, isn't it? Yeah. It's the shit. Okay. Okay. Every How about the A? The, a the is S? like A. Oh. <laughs> okay, so the next product we're going to talk about is Charlie D'Amelio's Dunkin' Donut product. Why she promoted somebody else's product? Because she has her own flavor. It's the Charlie D'Amelio flavor called the Charlie from Dunkin' Donuts. I think that's lazy. Lazy? Mm -hmm. I think it's genius. I think just, you know what, she can come up with her own and still selling. I'm gonna give them B. A because B? In the, okay, you really? have to understand, in the YouTube world, no one's done this before. Everybody doing this thing in NFL, right? Right. But people have done it before. People I'm just have, answering yes, you're right. But they she's a TikToker. Own. I think that's what's your legendary. I mean, is B. We'll put a B. B. All right. But the next one we have is... Oh, boy. One. Retro reprising with them. She's my best friend, so I'm biased. I'm truly biased. Hi, Haley. <laughs> but... I was forced. I think <laughs> when you look at any other YouTuber putting out the same, like, regular product with slapping on it, I think the product itself, iconic, no one dares to do it, and badass. Now, on the analytic perspective, we did not touch your storefront, but Leon might have some other opinions. I think she's higher than Amelia, whatever is her name. Charlie D'Amelio. Mm -hmm, okay. she put her name on it. That's what I call brave and I think it's just taking some time I mean apparel is probably one of the things that I do consulting with yeah it's apparel is the hardest thing to get it's difficult it's too noisy and unless you go do doing this thing on a longer time scale you don't see the result right away yeah it's a snapshot of your starting point I think the way she approach it she has already have the traffic the website will be better design it'll be a little bit better 
Amazon. But I think the people that come here, it's already her fan, so you know, design doesn't really help. That's true. But the key point to expand this thing, how can we convert her fans' friends to become Haley fans? That's true. So where do we put Haley Fam retro reprise on the scale? And, and we have to keep in mind, like this is the first apparel product in this lineup, so we have to be a little bit empathetic to it. I would say the B range. B range, I would say too. There are a lot of companies that take a really saturated industry and add an interesting business model to it. So Haley, the product itself, I wear this all the time. We just think that you're charting waters that are extremely daring. So we're gonna give you a B. I, I think all you need is really stand out, one of a kind branding. Okay, I'm gonna style. give her A. I'm gonna give her A. Love you, Haley. Okay, next product, Alex Wasabi 20. 19 calendar. It's, this is the calendar. Okay, product wise, I think this is stupid. Who would buy this? <laughs> where, where does he have his merchandise? None of it's showing up. He sell it on other people's store. Oh, interesting. So what do we think? This is what I'm talking about. If you have voice and community, you should own it all the way. Yeah, through. we are losing so much data right now. She cannot even build her. Leon is crying. So for people who don't know, basically what we just noticed is there's Redbubble, Amazon, and like a bunch of these other sites. Mm -hmm. So he's basically selling his product on a third party site, mm -hmm. which basically says he, mm -hmm. there's no digital storefront. So we're yes. giving him an F. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I've said D. Actually, you know what? Come on, F. F. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, if you have a store. There's not even a store. Okay. Next one. This is when YouTubers start to go into technology. Dobre Brothers created an app called Dobre Dunk. Okay. Oh, I like it. So it's a video Smart. game. So basically, the Dobre Brothers are holy cow. are these people, and they cartoonize them into a game. Holy cow. What do we think? Wow. Did they have offer in app purchase? Yes, they do. I have to install it to see how do yeah, they make how money. Yeah, how do they make money? Yeah, true. Is there ads or just? I don't Can know. Can you scroll down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's look at the review. The game is the game is is very funny and challenging this has a the gameplay. This oh. has 21,000 reviews. Do you know how many app installs And then you don't have? understand this. This is digital freaking products. So what does that mean? Profit margin is almost 99.9999%. Really? Especially if you have traffic. Yeah, and then, do. And also good product. This is higher than S. Really? Because the product is perfect. Digital yeah. product, frictionless, easy to do. Gen Z likes gaming. You don't, there's no storage required. There's also like, this is one of those products where it's so addicting and yeah. people will keep consuming it. And then what happens is on top of it, once this thing starts a lot of people down, how many people download? 21,000 reviews. Okay. How many people install oh it? Oh my god. Millions. Oh, like millions, right? S tier, S tier. <laughs> yeah! Can we go S all the way in the front? Oh. You think Dobre beats Chamberlain Coffee? Oh yes. I would say they are the same. They, yeah. they own the data and everything. Yeah. But this is more profitable. I agree. So okay. I'm going by your approach. I agree. Wow. This is fun. So, Daddy, you were skeptical about this video idea. Isn't this kind of fun? Yeah, I, I get paid <laughs> to do this. What? Okay. So the next product we're gonna be rating is Jojo Siwa ice cream. All right, let's go. So Jojo Siwa is a YouTuber too. That's she collaborated with Walmart. Let's just talk about the product itself. It does not strike me as like Gen Z. This seems like a 10 year old product. It is on Walmart. So it is exclusive product to Walmart and you can only buy it in store. No, what? delivery not available, pickup not available. Oh. So everything is pretty much online. It's just telling me that it, it wasn't really pushed hard. Oh. Because pretty... putting something on retail, it's a high risk. Look again, this is the same thing with having coffee, made by Dunkin Donut. This is more like a... You think this is lazy? <laughs> Come on, but having your own ice cream flavor is insane. I'm not disagreeing with you. It's the way they deliver it is wrong. Yeah, I think so you too. You gotta own it, the whole experience. Right. Why you wanna be, you know, merged into somebody else's brand? This is not like a part of like somebody else's ice cream. This is her ice this cream. This is her flavor of ice cream, yeah. Mm, okay, no Nickelodeon. Wait, no, no Nickelodeon. Yeah, okay, oh, interesting, so. interesting. Yeah, There's so wow. many like layers to it. The amount of middleman, I think yeah. by the time she gets her profit, it's like 2%. Not only that, she doesn't even have any direct communication right? with the fans. Right. So if this no. is horrible, she will not know it. Yeah. So she already get pale uh, less or less less because there's so many layers yeah i would say d d honestly At better least, than alex wasabi yeah. <laughs> you know walmart is better than red bubble next product we have eat like <laughs> this one youtuber named jade put out a product called eat like what do we think guys honestly f tier f tier <laughs> you don't think so no i don't think so for those who don't know this is like my Endeavor in my YouTube mm -hmm. idea. It's a work in progress. Work in progress. I think the problem is that <laughs> timing is off. It still needs some baking time. I'd still go in as high as B or A, but I'm biased. We're gonna I'm put in the C tier. Come C -tier. on, B minimum B. First of all, it's a digital product. Yeah. Second of all, you own all data. Third of all, it's brave. I have to give some credit to, <sighs> for being able to brave. Put it B. Fine, we'll put it B. We'll put it B. All right, we're gonna do James Charles. 
make a palette S tier. Honestly, he makes a shit ton of money from no, it. No, I have to look at the website. Oh. We have to do. He doesn't have a website. It's basically he works with a makeup company called Morphe, mm -hmm. and it's sold on Ulta, Sephora, everywhere. Mm -hmm. But it's this is their main storefront. I just think they. I I I, I cannot give an S. This is what really? I'm thinking about it. You own everything. You know how cheap it is creating a website. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Why why being lazy? I agree. For me, it's like you guys already. How hard it is you make your own YouTube? How many years? And you go in the moment you want to monetize it, you put yourself diluted. I just don't get it. B tier, B tier. All right. It's it's a legendary product. The product itself, I I've swatched it, I've used it. Great product. You're right. I, I feel like influencers just don't know better. Yeah. All they think about is the the product. They don't think about the distribution and profit margins and also like the business model behind it. If they backed it up with like a subscription model or like some yeah. sort of something else, like it could have been know, great. You know, subscription model, for example, a product, let's say, um, has just one time transaction yeah. model and you switch it to subscription, you automatically get another 50% lift. Our next person we're gonna evaluate is Father Foods Postmates. So essentially there's this YouTuber or she's an Instagrammer, but she created her own restaurant inside Postmates. So it's a Postmate exclusive. The kitchen is in Los Angeles mm. and they do sandwiches and I think like salads. I just think this concept is so unique. Like your own restaurant as an influencer for LA area through Postmates. I would say that A currently, A, but it's proper strategic analysis she can go to s really fast yeah because she should just own it how how, how much followers she has she has three million three million okay. on she doesn't need postmate really yeah. really come on but the postmate takes care of distribution and logistics for okay, the food right fine make a website when you click on it it go to postmate i agree i think then postmates you... is getting too much clout i feel like she thought that she was getting a deal or something no she probably didn't have her access to developer guys yeah. once you have attraction you need to know somebody with technology especially in api building all right so we're gonna do the last four we have it's really easy tana by tana so tana by tana created a perfume it sold out in 76 minutes so i think it did good but the website was so shit yeah. And obviously it's gone. I give it a C. Like the the website was horrible. All but right. that's interesting though. She can push sales. Tana can push sales for yeah, sure. Yeah, but though. see, that's you don't understand. The problem is not about transaction. It's relation. That's true. All right. The next product we're gonna do is David Dobrik disposable Man, camera. He, this guy has a lot. Of, so Man, David Dobrik sells. This guy is smart. Okay. I know, right? He works Sick with a company called Fan. Fanjoy. Oh my god, why? Okay. to create a disposable camera. So Why can't she just have her own store? Yeah, I don't understand. Distribution-wise, it's not that hard. Yeah, there's API everything. You can connect to it. I don't know. That literally costs nothing. No, 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 no. I, 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 you have to give three level, you know, traffic, how good is uh, well, you convert, and finally, relationship. How do you take one, one sales to become multiple state? I think, you know what I don't understand? All these YouTubers, like David Dobrik has the perfume, this camera, the merch, like so many touch points. Like there's, It's yeah. so confusing. So for this one here, I give to give the traffic because He's a builder. You got to bring it up to here. Yeah. They, they solved the first problem. The only problem is that if you they solved the second and third, oh my God, they can quadruple their profits. I agree. All right. So let's talk about the last three. Emma Chamberlain. She has another company. If you have a multiple company, this is why you should own your data. The reason why he keeps saying data, if anyone wants a quick lesson, is because when you have so many different websites, you can't track those customers. So basically, if they're doing retargeting ads, which they might not need to, which is why I think that they are not doing that because they already have the audience on their platform. Form, but you basically are losing a lot of money because you can't retarget people and put advertising behind it and get more sales But I really don't think the reason why they're doing it is because they haven't found a need to what do you think about that? I think it's just being lazy. It's not thinking. I mean why you want to leave money on the table? I agree So I really think that although we are you are a data savvy person that needs to have these digital storefronts I think it's a genius idea to put Emma Chamberlain's products in Target. It's literally in bookshelves right now I saw it. I think that's S tier. Yeah, no, what probably Probably A tier. A. A tier. The only reason why is because retail is really hard to execute. So the fact that Target printed out these books in real yeah, life yeah, yeah, yeah. is, I, I, is I mean, A again. Tier. Last two products, we're going to first do Shane Dawson conspiracy theory palette. So Shane Dawson's a YouTuber. He came up with a makeup palette, uh, Jeffree Star. It's called the conspiracy palette. And uh, this is their own store, right? Yeah, this is their own okay. store. I think the store looks like shit. What the fuck? Doesn't matter. Going? The data followed through. So what do we think? It's definitely in the top. Yeah, I agree. The traffic is already there. Huge They're traffic. Probably, they don't they need to make it. sold a million pallets yeah. in one day. And then day. the data flowed through them. Okay, we're gonna even get A tier. It was no, like no, no. What? All the way S. Because they can always upgrade it. Their traffic is unbelievable. They not only did the website right, but they also have a huge marketing campaign with yes. like, I think 100 million total views. So yeah. I think they did it right in that aspect. We have to look at their retargeting too. The last product. This is the one that confused me the most. Okay. I genuinely was I confused. So Addison Ray. I like the brain twister. Addison Ray, famous TikToker. Do we know her? Do you see Swipe Bear? 
Do you know her? No. Okay. So she's not even a makeup guru, but she comes up with a makeup company. Like it's called Item Beauty. She's a co-founder of it. What do we think about this? I'm just confused by this. What is confusing? First of all, I need to know how many followers she has. Yeah. Of uh, 65 million. Okay. <laughs> and then how many products she has in inventory? Is this like ongoing or ongoing? A very... Ongoing. Okay. Not drop. Okay. So what's wrong with this? There's a lack of market fit for me, just because she's not a makeup person, which is why it was confusing to me. Mm. I think it's more of like the company is great. It just doesn't align with her brand voice. That's the only part okay. I was confused about. Well, you know, I, I don't see anything wrong with the website. I think the, it's, website. No, the, the website looks gorgeous. The, I think for YouTube product wise, like for these entrepreneurs, I think it's a good business yeah, endeavor. This is, this is mostly you have to make a decision. But I, I, I just anything. think technically it's wrong. I would like, say B based on B. you tell me because just, if, if your brand is not aligned with your voice, that is the worst thing ever. A lot of people coming in and none, none of them buying. I mean, she can push sales just because <laughs> she has so much reach. But I felt like nah. you're a dancer. Maybe it would make more sense to create dance products or like products that are active. Like this just seems so random that it's like cruelty free. It just seems like she's doing it for genuine profits. Anyways, I think we have our S tier guys. So mm -hmm. the top YouTuber legendary products me and Leon has came down to is Dobre Dunk, Chamberlain Coffee, and Shane Dawson Conspiracy Theory Palette. Yes. Thanks for coming on my channel. Sure, digital product, multiple products on your data. Yeah, all right. If you guys enjoyed today's Peace. video, make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys later. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, you just got to comment below. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, I'm done. <laughs>